Well, okay, tubers. Uh, after doing that video yesterday on taking the wings off on the Ultra Cruiser, I don't remember if you've seen, I mean, uh, Smokey Tom was taking the video and then Niall was there. Smokey Tom's a pretty smart guy too, but that this Niall, he is ex just... I don't see how he knows this all, all this stuff. But anyways, just super smart guy. But anyways, I was telling him about these brakes. And he told me, well, my problem was, is because when it's in there, and I don't, well, the, well, okay, on here, see the bleeder right there? Well, on here, it's down there, the way I had it. And he said, that's the problem. Of course, now when I would bleed him, I would... Uh, well, I take a, the nut off under here and pull this whole thing up like this, so that this would be facing vertical, and then I'd and then I'd break the bleeder and and pump fluid from the bottom up until I got the air out, and then I was done. Well, but then eventually, every time you keep using the brakes, you eventually run out of brake. So he said. That I just that I just needed to turn the piss the whole cylinder around so that the highest point was at the top like this now and I don't have it bolted down solid yet there I mean I did have but I don't have right now because like I say I'm or I haven't said uh, reason I say that because I've been texting with uh, oh, shoot oh, Chris a uh, YouTube subscriber and um, I told him that I was getting ready to bleed the brakes and he said well make a video I said well maybe I will then I said okay I will so anyway that's where we're at now so I'm I will pull this loose from here and then put that up like that vertically and then I'll bleed them now I can't do the bleeding and all this stuff while I'm filming Smoky Tom was here, well then we could do it, but anyway, so, but that's what I'm going to do, is of course put fluid in to, and I don't know, uh, let's see, pump, I should say, pump fluid into here, I don't know what I, don't know what the, what that's looking at, uh, okay, there, pump fluid into there, I don't know if, anyways, pump fluid in there, and then, of course, when it starts coming out of the, coming out of the bleeder there, and keep getting air out until the bubble stop, then I'll put it back together there and try it and see how it works. So, that's where I'm at now, and then I've got to modify this other one a little bit. I had to do some grinding had to notch that to clear and notch this here to clear notch that there to clear and then and I had to grind grind this more round here so that would clear and so I'll have to do the same thing for that side now Niles told me yesterday he said well call me and I'll come over and check that out well I haven't called him I don't know maybe I maybe I will but at least for right now, I'll go ahead and try this. So I will get my bleeder thing, little Harbor Freight uh, oil pump thingy. Let me see if I can find it. Oh, I see it. Hang on there. There it is, a little Harbor Freight oil pump. And then I'm using dot five brake fluid because it's, it's supposed to be compatible with everything. Uh, when I got these brakes and tried them on the Ultra Cruiser years, well, 10 years ago, uh, the seals in the, I thought it was the seal, the cup seal that was in the master cylinders were expanding. And I was using the aviation brake fluid. So somebody told me years later, said, well, try the dot five. That's supposed to be compatible with everything. So that's what I've been doing, but maybe all along my whole problem was because I had the master cylinders, I'm going to say, upside down. So, anyways, we'll give it a try. Uh, 
There you go. God bless. Okay, tubers. All hooked up there. And got the bleeder open and uh, rag over to catch most of the fluid, I hope. So let me see if I can pump this and see what we get. I'm pumping. Nothing yet. There's some bubbles. More bubbles. More bubbles. No solid flow yet. I had the line broke loose down, well, down there. I don't know if I'm pointing at it or not because I'm laying down here. But I had the line broke loose so it would twist. There we're getting. I'm going to pump fast and see if it if it really comes out fast or well anyways i don't know what i'm trying to say but here we go well i think that looks pretty solid so we close it off down here I should say, try to close it off down here. I can't do it with one hand. Okay. Now we'll close this off. And there again, I ain't going to be able to tighten it very good with one hand. Probably couldn't even see it. I think I was off. Anyways, that's what I'm doing. And now I'll hook it back up to the brake pedal and see if... Uh, if I got a real full pedal. Anyways, there you go. God bless.